Hey everyone, it's Megan with Sawgrass with Jimmy Lamb. Me. <laughs> Thanks I was going to say guess who, but you already did the, my Sorry. name thing. So, Sorry. <laughs> thanks, oh well. thanks for joining us today for an extra Facebook Live. This week we have three Facebook Lives happening. One with both of us, one with just Jimmy, and one with myself with uh, Natalie from MasterNet. So we have a lot of Facebook Lives we happening this week. We have a lot week. of Facebook Lives happening this week. So if you missed today, you got two other opportunities to catch us, but we're hoping you're tuned in because we have something super fun to talk about. Yeah, we do. Well, we always do. Well, that's true. We always do. So today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about enhancing your designs because anytime that we can enhance our design and increase the perceived value, guess what? We can charge more. And if we can charge more, we can make more what? Money. Money. Yes, my favorite word. More uh, trips to Disney. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Megan, my favorite word was not Megan, it's money. <laughs> so anyway, um, but there's so many times it's just simple things. And you know, a lot of times with sublimation, it's not what we make, it's what we put on it, right? Yes. So we really got to think through that. Now, I'm going to be honest, and for all, those of you who know me, I'm not a great artist, okay? Yeah, thank you, Megan. Yeah, I see that head Yeah, moving. you said okay. it, I just uh, I'm agreed. Not. Okay, I'm not. So um, I struggle with creating great art, and I prefer to leave that to someone who's better at it than me. Um, but uh, anyway, so, but today I'm going to actually be doing the art part because of a couple of reasons. Number so one. Jimmy went into, went into Academy. He took the course on Creative Studio. So now he knows how to use it. So he decided that he is going to try his hand at making something live. No, that's not entirely <laughs> true. Uh, Megan, for some reason, thinks I don't know how to use Creative Studio. What reality is, is I'm just lazy and I let her do it every time we do a live together. Uh, and now I'm going to prove to her that, yes, I do know how. And by the way, all my wonderful friends out there who have been around longer than her with uh, Sawgrass, you will remember that with our first Creative Studio, guess who did all 90 videos on how to use Creative Studio? That was me, okay? I'm just saying. Did you do them or you just do the voiceover of someone's script they handed <laughs> thanks, to you? Thanks a lot. Okay, reveal all my secrets. So anyway, all right. So with all that said, um, what one of the things I've found is a very simple way to enhance designs is a good background. Because what I don't like is a whole lot of white space. Now, sometimes it's appropriate. We sure. realize different designs that would be appropriate, right? But so many times if we can actually fill this whole white area in with color, it just looks nicer, right? Now, how much extra ink is that to completely cover it? It's really just a few cents. It, it literally is only a few cents. But it may raise the value several dollars, right? So we want you to think about that. Now, one of the nice things in Creative Studio is we have more backgrounds than you'll ever know what to do with, okay? So yes. I want you to, to keep that part in mind that we have tons and tons of backgrounds in there. And when it comes to backgrounds, there are several locations where you can find them. So during today, we're going to go over not only how to use backgrounds, but where you can find them so right. that you don't get lost. Because there are two locations where they can be found. Yes. So, and she will correct me if I get lost, okay? So, with... I'll get the map. Yes. Uh, you better get more than that. All right, so with that said, I'm going to go to my computer, okay? And uh, so I'm going to be working with this 8x10 Chroma Lux panel, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and start with the 8x10 portrait here and bring it up on the screen. Ta-da, see, I knew how to do that much. Okay, good. No lewd comments yet. Now, um... I have a lot of different interests out there, so I'm just going to do something that I'm interested in, you know, because we saw for the last couple of weeks I did boating, fishing, okay? I like airplanes, too, okay? Any any really way to get around. You like... I do. I kind of like... You like transportation. I do. I do like that. Yeah, okay. So, um, I am going to go in here, and I am going to go pull out a really cool aircraft. Now, my friend, Great Dane, because... Dane and I, we've known each other many years. He's one of our featured artists. He's great. And, uh, you know, we've only put a small amount from the featured artists because we're just kind of trying them out um, and, and seeing what you think. And then we kind of look and see how much you use them to figure out if we're going to add more, right? So under Great Dane Designs, under the premium designs, he has a B-25 Flying Fortress. See, I'm a nut on this stuff. I go to air shows and everything else. My son's a pilot. Um, so, yeah, 
so um, these things mean a lot to me so I'm gonna choose right here the B25 flying fortress and bring it onto my screen there it is and I'm going to make it a little smaller what does that little square do there Megan I never knew anyway C okay I'm just showing you as I go so um, there is work. there is a classic B-25 Flying Fortress from World War II. Now you can already tell looking at this, there's a lot of white space there, mm -hmm. right? Now let's say maybe I was making this to sell to um, an aviation museum, or it's going to be sold at an air show to people that like B-25 Flying Fortresses, right? Yeah, we could sell that, but it's just kind of there, well, right? Well so we yeah we want to add some more to oh wow isn't that a great dog right there? Oh, it's a cute dog. Yeah, he's so cute. You know, I picked that one out because I was the one that chose some of these designs. Anyway, moving on along. So what we want to do is, okay, thank a you. Golf clap for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay, so now I want to add a background. Now the background I'm going to choose is under, drum roll please. Backgrounds. Okay, what? that made it easier right there. See where it says backgrounds? So we recently, about a month or two ago, mm -hmm. we broke out a selection of backgrounds and made it its own category. Right. And in here we have both free and premium backgrounds. Some of them are provided by some of our designers. Right. Our featured designers such as Sparkleberry and other ones are ones that we have curated um, at, as our Sawgrass yep. team and put in there as well. And personally, don't take this the wrong way. I don't care if it's free or premium. If it's the one I want, it's the one I'm going to use. Okay, that's Fair just enough. how I am. Because if I want to sell the product, okay, I'm going to get the right thing that's going to do the best job for me, and uh, and make it really pop the way I want it to. So, in here, I am going to go down to, I believe the one that I want is under outdoors. So we're going to go to outdoors, and there it is. I'm looking for a nighttime sky because in World War II, they very rarely did daytime bombings. It was all about the night, okay? So it makes sense that we have a nighttime sky. Mm -hmm. So this is what my background is going to be. And uh, by the way, notice all the little hearts. Sometimes we forget about this. If you have, yes. if you have the premium subscription, you get to check as many hearts as you want. Yes. And that becomes really good to have our favorites so they're easy to find again. Premium does come with unlimited favorites. Yep. So if so, it's on like Chimney and you're easily forgetful, <laughs> click that heart and right. you'll be able what to was find your name it. Again? <laughs> so you see, I just clicked the heart so I could go back to it if I need to. So I am chose this background and the background's going to come in. That and looks cool. That's pretty cool. That there's really there's nice. a lot going on there. Now, this background is actually has two parts to it, it has two layers. The stars mm -hmm. are separate from the, the dark part, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out and make sure that we are covering completely everything we need to. And then I'm going to go select the star part, okay? And I'm actually going to stretch the stars out a little bit as well. Now, one of the things that's neat on this, this is so cool. This is where you'll say, see, you did learn something today in Academy. Um, I didn't go to Academy today. Everybody who goes to Academy learns something in Academy. But that's true. For free. That is true. Okay. But um, on this particular one, if I went to fill color while I have it selected, I have the star selected, by the way. Okay. If I go to fill color, I can actually change the color. Look at the stars. See how they got bright? Oh, they get twinkly. They got, yeah. So you can actually, with some of the backgrounds, change some of the colors because if the stars are too overwhelming in this one we can dim them down a little mm -hmm. bit right and that is one of the benefits to our premium backgrounds as opposed to our free backgrounds uh the free backgrounds that you can find in elements currently they are right. flattened pngs so you can't change any of them the ones that we have for premium in our backgrounds collection uh, they are separated into um layers so you can yes. edit them and the great thing about that as well is we are constantly adding more backgrounds to this background section. So that's where you're going to go if you want to find anything new that we've come out with, including this outdoor right. section, which is a new section. And I can even make the stars pink if I wanted to. That would be out, cute. But I'm not going to. Okay. Um, now, you'll also notice that these stars are overlapping the plane as is it just ran into the stars. So I just need to send something backwards. Oops. Did I go too far backwards? There. Uh, now I brought it back forwards and the stars are all behind the plane. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the next thing to do is I need to add some text. Now, who's our friend that was uh, setting up the Jimmy versus Vic 
Okay, we you hear uh, maybe you haven't heard, but there's going to be a Jimmy versus Vic competition in our new future. Yes, uh, that's our friend Lori, and Lori. she actually asked earlier if you were learning Creative Studio for the sub off. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lori. <laughs> I, re I really appreciate that. But she had this whole list of rules that mostly applied to me. Jimmy has to do this. Jimmy has to do that. So I'm proving to her today that I already know how to do that. But anyway, so. Um, I'm going to go into text now, and with the text, uh, the first line of text I'm going to put in is going to be, uh, this is all, let's get rid of that, we don't need that there anymore. So we're going to put in text, we're going to go to Creative Studio, and <laughs> I just got to love these names, man. Wow, Lisa you know? says that she, she's already Team Vic Patel. What? <laughs> we already have somebody. Can we already eject people? Partnered. Isn't there a way to eject people here? <laughs> so um, anyway, so but you know we have so many fonts. I mean, it's incredible how many fonts that we have, and we have some really cool names. Like my favorite one at the very beginning, Z Dumb, Z Dumb Book or Z Dumb, and uh, I even got a little heart. See, I've saved that, but that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Abril Fat Face. That sounds almost offensive, but anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to put in my text, which is B25. That's the aircraft. Wow, I've got some weird symbols there. Let's try that again. B25 Flying Fortress, because that's what the bomber is right there. So I got that in there. We, you can hardly see it because it's small, and it's right there in the middle, and it's black. So I'm just going to pull it down here to where I can see it very easily, make it about that size, and I'm going to go down now, and I'm going to change the fill color to white so we can really see it. Yep. And you've probably heard us say this a hundred times because she does it, and I do it too, because I think I've told her. We're putting an outline Now he's color. taking credit for something. Well, I was here before you. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put that slight black <laughs> outline color on there and put a little bit of stroke in there. See, I'm cruising along. I could put a lot of stroke to uh, it, but that's horrible. Kara right? just anyway. wanted to inform you that it's not Z dumb, it's too dumb. That's Is why it? it's before it's the A. It's a two. No wonder it's before <laughs> the A. Thanks, you saw. I, I'm done here. I'm I'm ready. It's five o'clock somewhere. She's only been working here for a week. Yeah. And she figured that one out. Hey, I'm happy because you know what? I have been corrected, and I don't mind being corrected, except by you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. There's my first line of text. I actually went here at the top. I moved to the top. B25 Flying Fortress. But I'm not done yet. Okay. But wait, there's more. The, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to have a little water here first. Yeah, you, it it, it gets exhausting doing all this stuff. But didn't you, didn't you like the way I was just kind of rolling through? You did a great job. You did, you did an awesome job. That, so, so if anyone, who knows, who knows Creative Studio? Okay. If, if there is any sort of promotion for the Academy, it's this right here. Here we go again. Academy is great. Don't get me wrong. Okay. So, and in fact, the, our chief academist. Academist? Is that a word? Academist? Academist. Academist. Uh, anyway. I don't know. I'm sure Karen you, knows. You guys rarely get to see him, but we get to stare at him. He's staring at us now. And anyway. All right. So, next, I'm going to put in some more text. Okay. So, we're going to go to, to text. We're going to go into Creative Studio. Um, but, you know, I don't want to go through all that again. So, actually, when you go into text, if you just go to favorites. Oh, there you go. You love that look, favorites. Look at that. Faster one. I like faster one. So, I already went ahead and selected faster one. And this time, I'm going to put in Night Warriors. And Who are the Night Warriors? The, the people that flew the mission. Oh, that was like a nickname? Yeah. Well, oh, that's cool. Yep. So here we go. I brought that down. Going to zoom it up bigger, right? Okay, this is a really cool font. It, and I think it's going to really do justice to this design. See, I can do a little design work once you see the right color. <laughs> so we're going to make that white, obviously, so we can see it. Look at that. See how it looks that like looks it's awesome. moving through? And I'm going to put a little bit of an outline on it as well. Because, it, again, it will just give it just a little bit. There you go. Just enough there. Because it, it doesn't make it three-dimensional, but it gives it dimension. It gives it pop. Right. right. So now, if you think about this, when we first had it on a white background, okay, 
just so just try and picture um, that what I've created okay versus what's on the white if it was here right and this is definitely an enhanced design this much more enhanced not only does it look better but it gives more information it shows more and yep. it has more of an emotional value absolutely and so hopefully this is going to be the thing where if someone is shopping for a souvenir wherever they may be they say wow look at that okay right and it tells a story it See, does that's part of it try to tell a story especially when you're selling things retail can you tell a story mm -hmm. i mean but even if you're selling personalization tell the story how do you do that okay so i did that here you know so next step would be for you to press it after yeah, print i it. print it i know oh i'm supposed to know how to do that too. did you learn how to do that you know what you're not connected to this printer i'm are not you? connected to this printer am i that's the fatal mistake of her and i'm not actually i think Me. i think i printed to this one before is it still where's the let's find out me yeah because you're the one who never is connected to the printer <laughs> oh i meant like did are you is this printer i'm on not 100 percent sure well I we're gonna find out to in a few with. seconds oh boy aren't we okay yeah you don't need this part that that's that's, that's your mine. thing yeah let's find out because i'm i'm connected to but a lot of printers but this is what let's we'll find do out. if here, I'm going to just check down in here real quick and see if we're tied into this one. Um, that's a 500. Oh, no. shoot, I don't have a 1,000 in here. Want to see how quickly I can remake it? <laughs> or you... On yours? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Because that will be quicker than me actually reloading it. Do it. No, no, I don't have this printer loaded in yet. I can go through the steps. It's just to take a minute. You do that. I'm going to do this, and we'll see who we'll see gets who goes there first. fast. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to try to recreate design, and Jimmy's going to try to hook up the printer to his computer, and we'll see which one is quicker. Ready? Three? All right. Two. No, no, no. X out of there. You already started. Go back. Well, no. You, you already started. No, you already started. No. You didn't see anything. No. Go. Go. Oh, You're wasting go, time. Go. go. <laughs> You cheated. Oh. I didn't cheat. You cheated. I didn't cheat. Uh, my mouse got stuck. Oh, no. Okay. Cheat wasn't the word. It cheated. Was, it was just jump ahead. If my fingers were nervous. You made me nervous. You're jumpy. I'm not jumpy. Is the printer turned on? Yes, it is. I did all that. Come on. It's not seeing this USB. It's right Sounds like you're losing. I'm not losing. Everything's there. It's not seeing the USB. You got to troubleshoot. Go through the troubleshooting steps. I'm not going through the troubleshooting steps. Here, we'll do it this way. Oh, what was the name of this design? What was the name of these, this thing? You don't know. B-25 Flying Fortress. Yes. Oh, this is crazy. that other font oh you don't know the name of it do oh you? no I don't have it saved what is the name of it uh oh this is where I'm gonna fall yeah well Alex help me out here what was the name of that font oh Alex he doesn't know either Someone who's watching, I bet Lori knows. Lori, what was the name of the font? Tell me. You can help her. Man, is there a problem with that port? Let's try this port over here. Yeah, that port I think on your computer was messed up. I'm kind of thinking it is too. 
going through all the fonts. It was, it was a, ah, got it. I got a problem with this port. Darn it. And done. Yeah, I got a I got a I got a port problem. It's not my fault. Done. You did good. Thank you. That's a little off center. Oh. That should be over that way a little bit. But the this I'm taking this. Okay. This is not the one I want. <laughs> this is the one that you want. <laughs> nope. This is oh. well. I want that too. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, my my that my fault. You know, I, I think I get one day off. This is like when my husband offers to cook dinner, I end up doing half of it. Oh well. All right. Let's see. All right. Hey, Alex, you had that wonderful checklist for starting the, the everything. You forgot to say, Jimmy, make sure that you've set your computer up for this particular printer. Please add that to the checklist. <laughs> <laughs> everything was right for starting YouTube and everything else, except for me printing out. Oh, oh. goodness. All right, I'm going to use a vivid mode because... Whew. Wow, you did good. Thank you. you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Here. Thank, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's see. That pops up. I'm going to have to relog into my SPM, but we should be okay. That's what I'm going to do. Log out and log back in. Sometimes when I found when your printer doesn't pop up right away after you just plugged it into your computer, you have to log out and log back into I SPM. Use not. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to log back in. Alex, if you don't mind, that I gotta type in my- interesting race. We just turned that into something. I think we should do more things like that. I think we should race more. I think we should, especially once this computer is getting old anyway. So are you, but- Oh. You were set up yourself for that one. No, I did not set myself up for that one. You set me up for that one. <laughs> All right, there it goes. See, now you can see my uh, printer is mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I might unplug the printer halfway through so I can make you look silly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I'm not because we want to show you the finished thing. So we're just doing our normal. You know, by the way, according to Alex, we're like this all the time anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, he was like earlier, the camera's not even on. You guys are already doing it. It's like, well, <laughs> that's just us. So Craig wants to know what other challenges we should be given. So I think that's a great oh, idea. No. So if you have any other challenges in mind, throw them out because yeah, I think we out. should do that in the future. We can have fun with that. Vix as a four-piece jigsaw. Let's see who can find the corner pieces. Well, a four-piece jigsaw. Wait, wait Are, aren't all a... of them corners in that case, Vic? We yeah, like... really. And uh, Unisub makes that. They it's, do. It's a, the four-piece jigsaw coaster set. Okay, Lori says, after we get the Vic and Jimmy sub off, my next campaign will be Alex and the intern on camera sublimating and Megan running the equipment. That sounds like a disaster. <laughs> Not for Alex and the intern, for me in the back. <laughs> yeah, but you're a professional. You know how to do all sure, that. Sure, sure. Let's see. Wow, Vic says we have an opening for social media and education, folks. <laughs> Two worlds just, just opened. Open. Well, there's an interviewee waiting over there in the <laughs> corner. He's all, well, I was going to say he's skin and bones, but he's really just, just bones. bones. Nikki says, love watching this. So Peggy said she doesn't see the black behind the words. Uh, Peggy, I'm going to show you when it gets printed out. Actually, here, let me let me go back into Creative oh, Studio. Oh, did you not put the black behind the words? Look behind the B25 Flying Fortress. Well, the whole the oh, there was supposed to be one behind the Night Warriors as yeah. well? I'm sorry, that was my fault. I didn't it's, realize. It's actually my fault because I'm the one who created the situation because yeah. I did not set the my yep. laptop to the printer well, properly. So so the black is behind the words up top, not behind the words on bottom. 
because that, that was a mistake on my end. But the sky is there. The sky is the there. The sky is there. Danita wants to know what we're all doing, and she's shouting at us. Why uh, are you shouting? Uh, we're sublimating. We're sublimating. It will whisper. Okay. That is a beautiful design. I mean, once it really comes up, because it's so much bigger when it's not on the screen. So, that is an awesome design. I'm telling you, designs, man. Um, so, Nikki says, happy to know I'm not alone in the live mishaps. That happens to us on it's occasion. True. Uh, Bob wants to know, why do you not connect through the Bluetooth? I've been able to connect my 1000 through Bluetooth since I bought it. Uh, why is so we don't connect mainly because we have a whole internet thing going on here. We have a lot of equipment thing. hooked up to the internet and, right now. And including my laptop doesn't have Bluetooth. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a slight <laughs> limiting detail. So that's mainly the reason why we don't is because we have a lot of equipment that's running internet and stuff. So one less thing we have to worry about connecting works right. for us. Yes. But it's a good point. So yeah, tell you, and technically it's not Bluetooth, it's Wi-Fi. Okay, gonna press this. And we're gonna do this for 400 degrees. Fahrenheit, for, or 204 degrees Celsius. Yes, or 204 degrees Celsius, we've memorized that now. It's actually 204.4, .4, oh. just to be precise. <laughs> Well, we're going to press this at 400 degrees on a medium pressure for 90 seconds. For Jimmy, that's a minute. Do you think the extra 0.4 really makes a difference? 204.4? It might. It might. Know. So, just wondering. <laughs> oh, so Zanita wanted to know what are we making? So we are making. A mess. <laughs> we are making a, 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 a basically a Chromelux panel. Right, it's, so it's a, a smaller eight by ten photo panel. Um, and we're really we're just kind of demonstrating how to enhance the design by adding in extra things like backgrounds mm -hmm. um, and just giving it more perceived value. I mean, these are the kind of things you've got to think about all the time is what does it look like through the customer's eyes? And it, everything is all about perceived value. I mean, everything that, that we do, everything that we buy, it's about what we think it's worth. I mean, what I think something's worth is could be totally different than what someone else does. Right. You know, and that's a tough game because we don't have those answers. And most of us, if we start talking about charging for things, we undercharge because mm -hmm. we start thinking about what does it cost us to make, and then we just add in some little smidgen margin a margin on top, where the reality to somebody else I would have paid two or three times that. So we always want to be thinking about that, and then we don't drive the price up by always enhancing what we do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's our whole point here today is using the tools that we have here at Sawgrass with like Creative Studio uh, to help drive it up. I chose a premium design on purpose because it's a beautiful design. It's got a lot of good detail in it. Um, and then I chose some really interesting fonts that were there and then I put in a nice premium background and I think that we have a premium design if she didn't mess it up. Oh, okay. I know I did all the own contributions to it, right? <laughs> you know? But yeah, that came out quite well um, and don't pull it too close yep so Zanita says that she does this every day she adds backgrounds perfect. and she, she changes perfect. up design so she's already yeah. ahead of the game on this yeah, one yeah perfect um, that's what we want everybody to do because you know if you're like me I'm not I'm not an artist and you know in the beginning I was too much of when somebody says they want something I made some of the most simplistic things you ever saw because the customer's always right right well the reality is Start thinking beyond that. And, you know, I've been known to, the customer says, I want it like this, and I think it looked horrible. So I would make my version and their version and just show them an electronic version. And even though I'm not a great artist, I usually sold them my version better because it's just things like this. Well, you know? and because you have access to platforms like Creative yes. Studio that has stock images yep. that you can pull from so you can enhance it. So you don't have design. to be an artist. Don't I mean, touch it. Don't I'm not, touch I know it. about You think I haven't done that before? I can rob banks. I don't have fingerprints, okay? So any, that's how you know an experienced sublimator. They have no fingerprints, right? Uh, but anyway, so, but but really, look how, look how well the colors pop out of that artwork. I mean, they that do. is fantastic I'll hold it up artwork. again so you can yeah. see it again. I just wanted to give a second to. That really is. And we do, like I say, with, with our um, featured artist, 
we have some, they're professional artists and they mm -hmm. really put together some great designs. So um, I know that everybody's always looking for designs and, um, but always keep an eye on it because whether you're a premium member or not, you can see those designs. And then if you're looking into the premiums and saying, hey, I need that, get the premium, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not very expensive in the great scheme of things. Uh, one one good job probably pays your whole year, you know, worth of premium if you think about it. So take advantage of that. And that's what we just wanted to show you today. Just put, put together some premium stuff, made a premium product. And Lori's saying you can mix and match to top layers of designs, of backgrounds. You can rotate them at an angle to change them too. I think she's trying to say, Jimmy, you just didn't do enough. <sighs> yes, Lori, I'll work harder. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I know with the Vic Challenge, it's going to be so many rules in there, but uh, that's okay. Hey, Vic, you watching? You ready? Okay. So for those of you who are probably wondering what the heck are they talking about, our friend Lori here a few weeks ago had said, wouldn't it be great if Vic, who is our marketing director, and Jimmy had a, a sub off? And she then put it onto and, her and not page. not the kind you eat, okay? <laughs> She put it onto her page and polled people and asked, would people like to see a yes. Jimmy versus Vic sub off? And, and a lot of people said they would. So we decided, let's do it. So we are working on sorting out the rules right now right. because there are, there are a lot of details. We don't have a date yet. We're thinking probably August. Yeah, I'm thinking August because we have something else coming up before then, but we can't tell you Not yet. Just yet. Not, just, Not yet. just yet. Not just yet. But next week. We have some Don't details. you hate it when people do that? We got something really good to tell you, but we can't tell you now. So, uh, you know, it's going to be good. But, yeah, um, and in fact, I think we're going to turn the, the, the Vic and I thing into – we're thinking about bringing a boxing ring in. No, we're not going to do that. Um, but, anyway, it's going to be it, – it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. That's the main thing. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun yep. uh, regardless of who wins. I'm going to host it. I love and, that. Uh, I get to make fun of both of them at that's the same time. She's going to harass both of us. To the point that we'll probably duct tape her up and hang her from the ceiling somewhere. And then we, can, you guys can watch her swinging from the duct tape there, right? So, so that's going to be coming up soon. I know yes. a lot of people are looking forward to that. We're going to really build it up. I'm, I know uh, Vic and Jimmy are really going at it with each other. Uh, Vic's, know, Vic's I, already said, talk smack all you want, bring it on. Well, he just said there was, a, there was an opening, so maybe I'm not doing it after all. Remember, he said there was two openings Well, yeah, now? maybe maybe the, the new maybe, guy. Yeah, maybe he's just going to challenge himself. Maybe, maybe you fight to stay employed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's tricky because then if I win... What do I really win? I lose, right? And I hate <laughs> to lose. <laughs> Nikki said, poor Megan. Thank you, Nikki. No one ever stands up for poor Megan. <laughs> we stand up for you all yeah. the time. No, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, Zanita right. says, you are so fun to watch. I love seeing you play together. Thank you. We have a lot of fun. We, we do. We have we a do. lot of fun. So, yeah, now, this, this, will be, this will be a really fun sub-off. So, like we said, probably in August. Look forward to that. Jimmy yep. said we have something else we will be doing that will involve all of you. The whole world. Everybody coming up soon. The whole world. Yes. The whole world. So, um, now, tomorrow there will be oh, a yes, celebration live tomorrow. The normal Wednesday, except it won't be normal. Because you're not going to be here. I will not. Normally, I am here on Wednesdays. Um, I have I, well, I have a doctor's appointment, so I can't be here. But, uh, but Jimmy I'm will be, be here. here. So um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about. Uh, well, this was a souvenir product. We're going to be talking about travel and tourism tomorrow. So it's been there, done that. That's the name of it. Been there, done that. He's been um, there and done just about everything. Well, that's what when they it comes say. Comes sublimation. Yeah, well, that's what they say. Anyway. Um, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. Be, we're going to do 3 o'clock. Or I'm going to do 3 o'clock. Yes. I say we. Me and Alex will be here at 3 o'clock doing yes. that. Um, so uh, tomorrow we'll not be making this. So uh, we'll be talking on a different scope. And it'll be really a little bit more sales, marketing, business focused than actually product focused. Uh, but that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. So I hope you do come back and, and join me for that one. And then you on Thursday. Yes. On Thursday, I have a joint Facebook Live with Natalie from MasterNet. She is in Panama. So we have Panama, International. That's a great song. Yes. So she will be on with me. We will be working with Easy Subly. And she's going to do some of it in Spanish as well. So if you oh, are a Spanish-speaking viewer, uh, Natalie will be giving instructions in both English and Spanish. Hola, we'll be Natalie. Working Yes, yes. So we'll be working together on that. You, you know your Spanish. Yeah, right. I know one word. Yeah, okay. No, I know 10. 
I know ten. I found it. If, Tequila. Uh, yeah. Okay. Margarita. I found when I was working. These are those are the words he knows. I've had the opportunity to work in Spain. And uh, it, if I knew, I knew 10 words of Spanish, and if I could find somebody who knew 10 words of English, we could figure it out. Okay, I mean, we, you could, you know, it was fun. But no, but I think that's great. We're going to have a Spanish speaker there too, mm -hmm. so uh, that's going to be interesting. So busy week. Yeah, we have a lot of lives this week, and uh, I probably next week we'll end up next having a lot of lives too, as well. Because so. I'm back down here again, so you're, just, you're starting to see me more because I'm coming into the studio more. So um, yeah, I'm going to be here for yep. at least two events next week. Yeah, we're going to be doing a Busy. lot more lives. You'll probably end up seeing us two to three times a week moving forward. Right. So just be, be prepared for that. Right. That might make people want to tune in more. That might make people Shh, not want don't, to. Don't even say it. Okay. So uh, do we have any questions? Any quick questions before we wrap up? I don't see any yet. I'll let them pile in. Okay. But just so you know, if you do have questions revolving around sublimation, you can always go to our Sawgrass Academy. You can access that at academy.sawgrassinc.com. It is absolutely free. You can learn anything from how to do sublimation to how to use our Sawgrass products to how to run a business using sublimation, which Jimmy has done with our business builder. And it is awesome. Well, thank you. And, and we'll I... have more. Trust me, there'll be more. But we have more in the can, as they say. Not we got to be careful because not everybody uses the can the same way, right? Sure. But, but for the people in the video world, the can means that it's been recorded and now they got to produce it, you know, or put it together, you know, yep. cut and mat, mix and match and all that stuff. So. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we also have our podcast, Ink Differently. We had an episode come out last week with influencer Crystal Ann. Uh, we will have another one coming out next Thursday as well. You can access Ink Differently on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, and SawgrassInc.com. By the way, and if you didn't see the episode with the tie dye, oh, that, that was is fascinating. So Crystal Ann and I did a Facebook Live last week, last Tuesday. Uh, you can find it in our video section here yes. on Facebook. You can also find it on YouTube. How to do uh, sublimation tie dye? All the tie dye, absolutely none of the traditional mess that comes that with tie dye. Just, but it was awesome because. As I pointed out, you were actually doing the full front of a shirt without having wide format equipment. It was so cool. Yes, it's so really cool. cool. And I've, I've been doing it on my own. Yeah, now, I know. Ever since we can't then. get her to quit. <laughs> yeah, we love doing it. So, so I'm making time for our live. No, I'm tie dying again. <laughs> so, well, if we don't have any questions, I guess yeah. we're about done here. Before we go, though, it is National Camera Day. National so Camera Day. I want to say thank you to our camera man, yes. Alex, behind the scene. You don't yep. get to see him, unfortunately, but. Thank you, Alex, for all that you do. Yeah, because yeah, we couldn't do this without him. We couldn't even come close. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much for joining us. We will, well, Jimmy, we'll see you tomorrow. I will see you on Thursday, and we'll... Is Vic still talking trash? Vic's still talking oh, trash. Man. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> all right, thanks all so much for joining us. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.